Okay, so this is going to be a video that will be dated very quickly, but tomorrow, as of today, is uh, LegoCon, the first ever LegoCon uh, on June 26, 2021, at the times listed below here. It's a 90-minute conference held by LEGO that showcases some live entertainment, some world-first reveals, uh, behind-the-scenes access to stuff, and some never-tried-before build attempts, at least going by its website. Uh, where I live, this thing is at 4 a.m., but uh, the promise that it has some cool reveals had us thinking about some predictions and some things that we would like to see, and overall thoughts about this LEGO con itself. If you're a toy collector, you might have seen that Hasbro tends to do these. They have these little conference conventions where they talk about some upcoming releases that they'll have. Uh, I'm also a big fan of E3, so the idea that LEGO is going to be doing this is exciting. And I think having a bunch of news released at a conference is a bit better than Instagram leaks too. The website lists different themes and different categories of events that will be taking place. There's a Q&A with some LEGO designers and Mo Yang's Lydia Winters towards the Minecraft theme. There's a brand new Star Wars set that's releasing, a closer look at the newest Mario Mario sets and a truly magical building challenge for Harry Potter. There's also an interview with a real life astronaut for Lego City. And a special appearance by DJ Llama. Okay, so it's kind of weird. There's like a weird amalgamation of uh, reveal type stuff and uh, in-depth look at actual sets and then there's like weird game activity things as if to imply that this was maybe supposed to be an actual in-person event. Uh, I don't necessarily see a lot of people getting excited about the things that are listed here that aren't just set reveals or discussing current set waves, so I don't quite know who this is designed or built for, but uh, I'm still intrigued. I have somewhat low expectations, but I'm still intrigued. Okay, so just assuming that there is a lot more stuff that just hasn't been announced on that website, uh, I would like there to be some mentions or some discussions about the Marvel CMF minifigure series that has been rumored, not announced. We don't have pictures, we don't have any other information about that, but we do know that there's an advent calendar that hasn't been properly revealed yet. I think uh, revealing a lot of the stuff that's been leaked would be a pretty good idea on LEGO's part, because there's been a lot of speculations and stuff that leaked on Insta for a while now, so it'd be nice to have some actual proper announcements towards that. Uh, the Lego Ideas Seinfeld set I haven't heard anything on, or the McAllister's House from Home Alone, so I would like to get maybe a release date on those or something. They didn't reveal them in the most recent Ideas announcements, so that led me to believe that they're going to talk about it at this. Uh, there's also a Harry Potter Diagon Alley that's supposedly yet to be revealed, or it's a different UCS type thing that uh, some people have slated as being disappointing for others but really interesting for other people. I don't know what that would mean. Uh, that would have led me to originally assume that that would have been the chess set, but anyway, we have a Harry Potter Diagon Alley set and the LEGO Star Wars Skywalker Saga game. What's going on with that? I don't know if LEGO has the power to actually come out with something concrete about that, but um, it is LEGO. Going by the website, the only thing that is listed as a set reveal is for the Star Wars theme, which makes sense. It's one of LEGO's most popular themes, and there's a couple that we haven't yet been shown. Uh, the LEGO Republic gunship is the first big one that everyone's been going towards. A UCS gunship has been asked for for years now, and it's high time we finally got one. But there's also apparently an 8080 that's somewhere in the window that LEGO's yet to announce. But it's also potential that this is just the proper reveal of the Mandalorian sets. Technically, we didn't have a reveal for all of those. We just got some of the Clone Wars ones. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if this is just a proper reveal of the Mandalorian wave. People are saying that it does say set, but that could potentially mean that they're just having HD revealed image of the whole thing instead of just one little set. I will be waking up to watch and I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, we'll definitely talk about it afterwards, but I just wanted to have a quick little thoughts video about what I expect to see. Catch you later.